yes, I completely recognize the fact that we are most likely going to get fired before the season is over. Yes, we have been terrible on the road, picking up only one win and one draw in league play away from home. And yes, we are currently closer to the relegation zone than I ever thought that I would be in taking the job at Arsenal. That all being said, we have a chance to lift some silverware today. And welcome back, everyone, to episode number 115 of Bottom to the Top. I'm Mr. Cellophane. How are you? Yes, we are having a monumentally crappy season. But we are at Wembley Stadium taking on Spurs. It's a North London derby to decide the winner of the Carabao Cup, a competition that Arsenal made it to the final in last year. They took on Fulham. They lost to Fulham. So Arsenal as an organization is looking to get revenge. We as a head coach are looking to pick up our second consecutive major cup trophy in this save. And this is the team we're going to hope to do with trying to put our best foot forward. It's going to be Dacris in goal with Alan Hernandez, Kemshaw, and Bay J. Hoon as our back four. Bay J. Hoon back finally from the Asia Cup. Declan Rice is going to be at the base of the midfield behind Florian Wirtz and Mikaias Bakayo Saka on the left wing. Moreno in the middle. Jonathan Reyes getting the start on the right wing. And frankly, things on their face are tilted in favor of Spurs. We are winless in our last five in all competitions. Three draws, a couple of losses. We've seen all those. Well, we haven't seen all of them. We can talk about that after this match when we take a look at what's been going on in the Premier League. It ain't pretty. I got a goal that I need to show you, which really got my blood boiling. One shot so far in the first 20 minutes. It has come Arsenal's way, but Spurs are on their way back. The match momentum has shifted toward the Tottenham side. Spurs wearing the white. We are in our typical red with the white sleeves. First highlight of the match, though, on this rainy afternoon in London, is going to be a throw-in from Bakayo Saka, who will get it back, move it into the box, send it along the grass, and it beats Husselin for the first goal of the match, and Arsenal with a 1-0 lead in the 35th minute. And this was all Bakayo Saka getting it back from Matteo Moreno, just threw it through a sea of bodies into that far corner along the ground. A grass cutter, I believe, is the term for that one. 90,000 on hand. It is a full house at Wembley for this cup final. And Arsenal with a lead after 45. A 35th minute goal from Bakayo Saka is the difference. Only four total shots on goal the one shot that Tottenham took was better than all three we've taken as far as whether they are expected to score on them but luckily we actually scored on one we have made one change at the half Pedro Iglesias is going to come in to replace Thomas Kemshaw who picked up a knock about a week or so ago recovered from it but little small injury right now in this match Oh, goodness gracious. We almost gave one up here in the 53rd minute. Luckily, the post came to our rescue. It's a long way of me saying that Kempshaw picked up an injury. We've decided to take him off the pitch. Corner kick now. Bakayo Saka sending it in. Moreno trying to get his head on that. Iglesias playing it across. Mikaeus, he hits the woodwork. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Both teams being denied goals. I guess if they had both gone in, we would have been fine. Downpour in 59 degrees. Last match we played in the rain. Again, we'll talk about it. No rain in the forecast. It just started raining because it just rains in England in Football Manager 24. Amar Dedic. Oh, my goodness gracious. Off of the corner... They did play it from the outside. Did somebody get in Dockris' way? Please say yes. They did. The goal has been disallowed. 
it was a nice corner play. They kept it low. Santos turned over for Dedich. But there were two Tottenham players in offside positions. And they have decided to uh, raise the flag and disallow that goal. So still 1-0. BJ Hoon up for Reyes. Looking for Moreno. Picked off by Roberto. Roberto over for Taya. Back for Pavlovich. Taya for Roston. Dedich once again. Dedich with that deadly shot that should have brought this match even. Taya looking to pivot it to the far side. Santos along the sideline will drop back. Roston with it now. Tottenham able to hang on to the ball in the middle third. But unable thus far to find an inroad. And of course, as soon as I open my mouth. Everton Antonio takes it in, but Dockress making an easy save to his left. Just about 10 minutes remaining in this match. We're going to get some fresh legs on. Martinelli is going to come in for Bakayo Saka. We're going to bring in Manuel Diaz in place of Jonathan Reyes. And Alan feeling a little tired. Eliezu Ribeiro taking the place at the left wing back position. Five to six, your shots on goal in favor of Spurs. Seven minutes remaining to play. They are pressing. Starting from our own line, we get it ahead for Moreno. Martinelli with it. He'll lose it. Dedich will sweep it away. Tie it back for Facone. Across for Rustin. Spurs once again in control. Doyle ahead. Everson, Everton Antonio knocked away by Iglesias. Moreno will play it back for BJ Hoon. Fed back forward. It makes its way to Moreno once again. Making his move past one man. He'll stop. Feed it for Florian Wirtz. Wirtz ahead for Moreno. Moreno is deep. He'll shoot. It'll go across the goal mouth. And Martinelli will have to chase it down along the far sideline. Played into the middle. Intercepted there by Dedich. And Doyle will look to get it started back for Spurs. Just a couple of minutes remaining in this match. We are going to demand more from our team. And hopefully they hang on. Two minutes added on, and we do it. Arsenal, making their second consecutive Carabao Cup final, is going to lift the trophy. We only gave up two goals in the entire competition, which is in stark contrast to how we've played elsewhere, especially on the road. But the trophy being lifted. 1-0 your final score. Second consecutive Carabao Cup victory for Nick Bottom. This time, however, may be his only opportunity to make European play. So while the win is nice, as you can see from our manager performance right there, that big red E does not mean a hill of beans that we are going to be in the Europa Conference League next year. I almost forgot I promised to show you the goal, and here it is. Cleared, 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 played right back in the path of the Burnley striker, Smith. He puts home the only goal of the match. We lose at Turf Moor by a score of 1-0. to nil. And what started off that whole thing was Bukayo Saka being absolutely destroyed off of the ball in the Burnley end. So that was the end of a counterattack. Where they sent it in, and we thought we'd cleared it a couple of times, but then Macias just plays it right to the one lone offensive player just standing right in front of the goal. And yeah, we did follow that one up with a nil-nil draw at home in the rain against Liverpool. So only one point in our last two league matches. Hopefully we can get things churning in the right direction we are taking on the team currently sitting bottom of the table of the championship so in the flight below us and about to frankly be relegated two doors down it's the fifth round of the fa cup we got Moratti in goal butera iglesias hernandez and nymark as our back four we're obviously rotating through because right now the league is much more important even though if we win the fa cup we're in the Europa League. Haudi at the base of the midfield behind Mikias and Achille Clace. Martinelli getting the start on the left wing. Manuel Diaz on the right. Once again, it's going to be Matteo Moreno because you know what? He's got four goals in pretty much his last five matches. All right, I'm making that last part up, but he's got four goals 
on the season, he has been our most prolific striker. So, of course, hopefully he will continue against Charlton Athletic here today. So on the one hand, Charlton have lost four of their last five. We've done a little bit better than that. Not a ton, but a little. We're in our yellow jerseys, but we are on the road. Only in front of 27,111. So I think this is a sellout for Charlton. Hopefully we can put the pressure on, get an early goal, and just never look back. Sadly, though, Charlton is moving it up the right wing. Played ahead for Porter. He does have a man on him. It's Butera giving him some space. It's going to ricochet off of Butera and out for a corner kick. Almost an own goal. Luckily, Doc... Uh, Dockress Mirati had that covered. Campbell with the corner. Iglesias looking to clear. The other Campbell picking it up along that far sideline. Iglesias will pick that off from him and send it long. To mute any early threat from Charlton. In fact, only one shot on goal in the first 15 minutes. Make that two, both going Arsenal's way. So hopefully we can uh, get things off on the right foot. We're going to go into a more positive mindset than we normally play as well typically we play that small possession game we're going to open things up just a little bit here as martinelli plays it in for Macias. he's got moreno his shot's going to be blocked it will be cleared away campbell coming uh up with it along the sideline dropping it back for darkwa and looking to move it forward once again. 4-0, your shot's on goal. Taking possession in the midfield. We've played just about 30 minutes. Campbell, deep. Picked by Iglesias once again. Martinelli sending it forward. Moreno's got it. Trying to move ahead. He is outpacing the defense. That's a good thing. Moreno taking it in. Moving it to his right foot. Through Sadler and into the back of the net. Five goals this year for Mateo Moreno. And Arsenal with a 1-0 lead here in the FA Cup Looking to earn ourselves a berth in the quarterfinals. Can we do the domestic cup double while still looking absolutely pathetic in the Premier League? We'll have to find out. That one deflected in off of uh, Lockley Samuel instead of the goalkeeper. So, sorry, Samuel. Micaeus to deliver the corner. Burrows trying to head it away. Settled down by Iglesias outside of the box. Across for Kleiss. Looking for Iglesias again. Unfortunately, Campbell is going to pick that one off and carry it forward. Feeding it to Porter. Porter one-on-one -on -one with Mirati. And did Mirati get his hand on it? Nope. It was just shot wide. Off target. First shot of the game for Charlton Athletic. Arsenal hanging on to a 1-0 lead as we reach halftime most of the opportunities have gone our way i think we can do even better so let's uh, pump the team up tell them we think that they can actually improve will we make changes most likely are we going to do it at the half we are not Micaeus with another corner kick near post once again coming to iglesias he does have a man on him. His pass is knocked off the foot of Davis. Lyburn can't get it. Iglesias into the middle. Gabriel Martinelli, just his second goal of the season. Costs a lot of money. Gabriel Martinelli actually going to be on the move in the summer. We have sold him for not a ton of money, but we're getting a million a week off of the books. He is also going to Manchester City. As bad as we have been on the whole this season, our players are generating a lot of interest from one team and one team only, and that is Man City, probably because they're the only team that can actually afford to play our players. Mateo Moreno, does he have his second goal of the match? I believe he does. Sixth goal of the season off of the set piece. Martinelli sending it forward. Butera heading it down. Moreno is there. Butera got above Lieburn to win the ball. 3-0 Arsenal. Uh, we'll leave Moreno out there for, for the hat trick. And we're even going to leave out Gabriel Martinelli because, frankly... He just does not get a lot of playing time. Zaid Albasha is going to be coming in in place of Macias. Macias does get plenty of playing time. And um, no, we're going to keep Bay Hoon off. So 
any of the regular guys. Martin Odegaard will come in in place of Manuel Diaz. Not that Diaz is playing poorly. It's just we're trying to get Odegaard in as much as possible, even though he's not really a regular starter for Arsenal anymore, uh, before he retires at the end of the season. 20 minutes remaining. Arsenal with a comfortable 3-0 lead on the road. And hopefully this, combined with our win over Spurs in the North London Derby in the Caraval Cup, will propel us to success because, of course, we still have league matches to play. Brentford, a team actually behind us on the table, coming into the Emirates next. Martinelli dropping it from Butera across. Kleiss settling it down. What a finish by Aguile Kleiss. His third goal of the year in all competitions. It's 4 Nil Arsenal. He just pounded that one down into the grass and is able to sneak it past the Charlton keeper. Kleiss, really, what made that was the, the chest down and the ball control of Kleiss getting in between the defenders, which gave him a clear and easy shot past Sadler. Six minutes added on are not going to make the difference. Arsenal four, Charlton nil and we're moving deeper in yet another cup competition we're headed to the quarterfinals of the fa cup so now the big question is assuming that we are still employed come monday's episode who are we taking on in the round of 16 in the champions league it's going to be one of either atleti man city man united marseille milan rangers rb leipzig or benfica not an easy match in the bunch. Benfica has drawn Liverpool. Milan has Arsenal. We have AC Milan, the team that did not hire us. Imagine where we would be if we had gotten the job at Milan instead of Arsenal. It's going to be Man U and Barcelona. Leipzig and Real Madrid. Rangers against Napoli. Rangers probably would have been nice to get, wouldn't they? Marseille is taking on Borussia Dortmund. It's going to be Man City and Lazio and Atleti taking on FC Porto. So assuming we survive the weekend, we'll see you Monday with the first leg against AC Milan. Hope you liked the video. Make sure you hit the button. Also subscribe if you have not done so already. Thank you very much for watching today. Have a great weekend and I'll see you again on Monday. Until then... Bye-bye.